Uh, maybe one. Yeah. Once we finish off this small pile, we can move on to the big piles over there. All right, feeding time. All right. We did a small test. For now we're gonna do our first full wheelbarrow through the new sifter. A little help start? Yep. Gotta give it a little help. Oh yeah. That's a big clump. Yeah. It, it broke it up a little bit, but not nearly enough. So the reason we do this is because the worms eat a lot faster when it's fine green, almost powder like this. So they will eat this three or four times faster than they'll eat the, uh, the rough finished compost. So this breaks it up into a nice, nice fun powder. Just really nutrient rich powder for them to eat. I mean, this is finished compost, it's a few years old. But it's, uh, it's what they crave. All right, this is the non-finished stuff. See, it's a lot more clumpy. It's got rocks and stuff in it. I mean, you can see here's, these are about the size of rocks we're working with all over in it. It's just, it's good stuff, but doesn't give us the speed we want. This farm's gotta produce quick. And Austin's been doing most of the work today. <laughs> what do you want this creek? <laughs> they went all the way up. Oh, did it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, uh, it's like a carnival game. Well, the problem is now my back's gonna get weak. Because, <laughs> uh, my, my upper back muscles are getting strong from doing this all the time. <laughs> it does slow it down a little bit. With yeah, that. you can hear it. That wimpy it's motor. Off the shovel floor. You Yeah, you're almost through a whole wheelbarrow already, huh? Uh-huh. Way faster than before. Before, it would take 30, 30 or 40 minutes to sit the entire wheelbarrow. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I was quick, I could maybe do one in three or four minutes. Let's do it this way. Yeah. And the other motor's here right now. 
stuff is the powder and now we can just roll it out of the way and collect what we made and we're gonna buy some more wheelbarrows to put underneath there so it's self-collecting but no this is so fine I know it's it's just like powdered mm -hmm. sugar mm -hmm. oh look at that cool uh let's see like the striations in it that's cool cool for me because I'm a nerd mm -hmm. smooth and dampen it and it's good to go. We got a whole other wheelbarrow full over there too. Awesome. It's a it's a almost a two to two three ratio. Is that the right way to say it? Yeah, we got one barrel. Three? We have two wheel barrels out of three. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little more than that. A little more than two, yeah. Well, that's easy to shovel on. Huh? All the rest overflowing almost. Okay. Gotta be. I guess you can do it the smart, the smart way. <laughs> because I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> Just dump it a little bit on there. Like partly off? Partly on. Yeah, there you go. a little deeper since they've eaten this pile has shrunk a lot a few weeks ago I had it up even with the board See how I'm, I'm sloping this is the worms. We started this nursery pile right here, came up about 10 feet, piled it up real tall. In fact, it was even with these at one point. Now the worms have kind of shrunk it down them and eaten it. They've reproduced a lot. They've moved out to about right here, um, naturally, plus some that I've added. Now, what we're going to do to get this farm to work is essentially a Instead of a vertical flow through system, we're going to do a horizontal flow through. And so we keep bringing the farm forward in thin layers at a slope. The worms move forward into the new stuff. I'm going to bring it out to this line in the sidewalk just so I know where I'm at. The worms keep eating the new stuff and they keep moving forward. Eventually, we start neglecting the back end. We stop watering it, we stop feeding it. We stop bothering it. 
And when we're, when we're about after here with this one, um, which will be about taking the farm up 40 feet long, we'll start harvesting that back end. Any worms we find will go back to the front, but everything else is castings and ready to be sold. And um, we're going to continue that. And so eventually there'll be a bunch of 50 or 60 foot long worm farms with the back end being harvested with another farm kind of chasing behind it. And so we'll have five or six faces on each row that are active with five or six um, back ends that are being harvested. And we'll have that for all six rows. So it's going to be a lot of material coming out every day by the time we get this place full.